The plural which you find through the Quran, we created mankind, it says real clear, khalaqno, which means we created, does not mean we in the sense of more than one. And I'll give you an example from English. The king or the queen give a decree, they say we decree the following. It's not we, it's one king. It's royal we. If you still didn't catch that, it's also in regular language when we speak to each other. If I'm speaking to a group of people, I say you are my friends. And I hope you are. Uh, you are my friends. But if I'm just speaking to you directly, I say you still are my friend, right? I don't say you is my friend, do I? No. Why did I have a plural? Because anything else singular would be is. Is that true? This is, that is, he is, she is. But you are. Why? It's respect. That's all. And why don't I say I is? Because am is also the correct plural form. Not meaning plural in number. But it's the royal form. The way you address yourself and you're the one you're speaking to is putting them on a high level. That's all. Got it? So Allah means the only one to be worshipped. And it's God's name at the same time. So the word God in English needs help. Big G, little G. There are no capital letters in Hebrew. There are no capital letters in Aramaic that Jesus spoke, peace be upon him. And there's no capital letters in Arabic either. It means that when you read the scripture, you have to know the form of the word so you know what it says. And the word in the Hebrew in the Old Testament says Elohim is exactly like Allahum and it is plural in the sense of respect. And it's calling on God, oh God. But it doesn't mean plural. Okay. Next one. What does Islam think of Jesus and Christianity? Well, we're going to do the word thing again. There's no word in Arabic, Jesus. There's no word in Hebrew, Jesus. There's no word in Aramaic, Jesus. There's no word, Jesus, in Koine Greek. Those were the choices of language back at the time of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. There was a word, still is by the way, Isa. And Yeshua, which Joshua comes from Yeshua. The word Joshua, the name Joshua, is exactly the same as Jesus. And Jesse is the same root. I have a book of names at home and that's what it says. Same root. The pronunciation of Ja is Latinizing these Semitic languages. My name is Yusuf. Can you guess what it is in English? Put a J there. Joseph. Joseph. Ah! It's my father's name, Joseph. So that's how I had to clear that first. We have somebody in the Quran named Isa. Isa ibn Maryam, and ibn means the son of, and Maryam is Mary. Jesus, the son of Mary. Now, the story that we have is a story about a virgin girl from a religious family. The family has dedicated her to the temple, to the, not pagan temple, but to the synagogue. They thought they were going to have a boy, but it was a girl, and still they said, well, we want our girl to be this donation that we promised to give our child to God. This girl has amazing things that happen to her. They find her with food out of season, the best foods, and they can't figure out how she's getting it. An angel visits her and tells her she's going to have a baby. And she said, how is this possible when no man has ever touched me? And she's even telling the angel, stay back away from me. If you fear God, get away from me. And he said, no, no, I'm an angel. And I'm telling you, you're going to have a baby. And how is this possible when no man has touched me? And the angel says, for God, all these things are easy. He merely says, be, and it is. And this is the miracle birth. The Immaculate Conception is accepted in Islam. It's part and parcel of Islam. It's in the Quran. 
No Muslim can deny it. Many miracles are coming with Isa ibn Maryam. The first miracle is he speaks and defends his mother while he's still a tiny baby. And they said, how can a baby talk? But he spoke to him and said, peace be upon me the day I'm born. Peace be upon me the day that I die and peace be upon me on the day that I'm resurrected. I've never been undutiful to my mother. And he describes then the condition of belief that there's only one God. Worship has to be for God. This is the baby telling him about this. And then other miracles are assigned to him in the Quran. People who have skin diseases are cured. Lepers are cured. The lame walk again. The blind can see. And even a dead man is brought back to life. All by the permission of Almighty God. Similar to the Gospel of John, if you read it, it says the same thing. What does Islam say about Christianity? It says that when Jesus came, that he was preaching the same message as the people of following the Abrahamic faith. That God is one and he has no partners. And that the worst sin is to break the first commandment, thou shalt not have any other gods beside me. When I was a Christian preacher, some people asked me some questions I couldn't answer. So I went to somebody who I knew I had a lot of answers. He was a famous evangelist in our area. I won't mention his name, and he'll be just as happy that I wouldn't. But he told me, don't worry about what the Old Testament says, because it was about eating pork and some of the other commandments mentioned in the Old Testament. You can't eat pork. He said, Jesus came to cancel the 